The Xbox 360 was definitely one of the absolute greatest consoles from the mid 2000s through the early 2010s and I'm actually surprised that not more people are still talking about how amazing the Xbox 360 was. So I decided to put together a list of the top 10 best Xbox 360 games, whether you're looking for games for either your kid or your little brother or something like that. This is a great list on where you can start or if you just wanna jump into the life of the Xbox 360 and play some great games, we put together the best possible list for you. And nowadays, since you can pick up an Xbox 360 for close to nothing online, there's actually been a small tight-knit community on the Xbox 360 and there's still people playing games on there. I've considered how active the player base is and what you can still do in these games today. And while I know this is a top 10 list, I also have side suggestions because there's just so many good games besides just the 10. So occasionally you might hear me throw an extra game or two in this list, but let's get into our top 10 list. Number 10, Trials Fusion. This game actually comes in as a really decent entry level game because there's free trials already on the Xbox 360 store so you can try the game out and decide for yourself if it's something you would like. But it's just a basic, fun, motorcycle, platformer, racing type of game that's really fun and challenging. Some of the courses are extremely intense and really fun to play on and the game's really simple and easy to pick up and go on where any type of player with any experience and any background in gaming will be able to get into this game and at least get through a couple of levels and have a chance to grow and get better at the game. So if you're brand new to gaming or the person who's going to be playing this game is brand new to gaming, Trials Fusion is a great place to start because the game's so easy to get into and you're more than likely going to have a pretty great time playing this game. Number 9 goes to Call of Duty Black Ops, even though Black Ops 2 was also under heavy consideration, so you can kind of choose between the two of them here, but the Call of Duty franchise was a staple to the Xbox 360 days, and really all of the Call of Duty games from Call of Duty 4 all the way up to Black Ops 3 that were released on the Xbox 360's lifespan were good. However, on the Xbox 360, if you're looking to play multiplayer, you're gonna wanna be able to hop on a Call of Duty game that still has active players. Fortunately, Call of Duty Black Ops and Black Ops 2 are both backwards compatible with the Xbox One, so there's kind of an inflated player base there, but these Call of Duty games also have Call of Duty Zombies mode, Black Ops having the best maps. You could even pick up a map pack that has some of the best maps of all time in the Call of Duty Black Ops 1 DLC, and that's why that one's on the list, but the games have a great single player campaign, decent enough and active enough multiplayer, and of course the classic zombie mode. So if you're looking for a game that gives you a lot of things to do, and it's just kind of that staple FPS game, go ahead and pick up Call of Duty Black Ops. Number eight, Left 4 Dead 2. The Left 4 Dead games were classic games released back to back in 2008 and 2009 and we've done full reviews actually on Left 4 Dead 2 and on Call of Duty Black Ops so if you want to check out our reviews on both of those there'll be a card on your screen but Left 4 Dead 2 is kind of the more definitive version of Left 4 Dead and it's just a great and fun zombie survival game that emphasizes cooperative mode. Sometimes you're going to be able to find other players online looking to play together, specifically on Left 4 Dead 2 more so than on the first one, and that's why we recommend the second one. But if you're looking for a great couch co-op game or a great online game to play together, this game's still extremely fun. It holds up well today. Everything works well in the game, and you're going to have a good time no matter what. But yeah, if you want more information on Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, check out the video review we did on that. Number seven goes to Minecraft. It's still as great as a game as ever. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the cross-play capabilities that the Xbox One has, but still, it's the classic Minecraft experience you're going to see on most releases of the game, or at least what you remember Minecraft was like back in the good old days. There were a couple updates still to it, and overall, it's just the general Minecraft gameplay that you expect. If you want to survive the night by building a house, and going in caves, and looking for cool materials to build with, or you want to build something bigger and better with creative mode, Minecraft is still the good old Minecraft, and it's a great way to just kind of play a game if you have some downtime and you want to chill 
on something after playing maybe something more intense like Left 4 Dead or Call of Duty Black Ops. Number six goes to Lego Marvel Super Heroes, but you could also pick up Lego Star Wars if that's more your thing. But either way, honestly, the Lego games are actually surprisingly extremely well made. And whether you're an adult picking this game up for someone younger to play, this is a great game. It's not too difficult, but it's really fun. There's a lot of low-key comedy and humor in these games that makes it a little bit more fun. And plus, who doesn't like superheroes? And if you don't like superheroes, who doesn't like Star Wars? So definitely check out the Lego Marvel superheroes for the Xbox 360 or Star Wars uh, because you're gonna have a good time no matter what. And I believe it also has couch co-op. Luke, confirm that on the screen. Put a big yes if it has couch co-op on. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. Number five goes to Portal 2, which is one of my favorite games of all time. But Portal 2 is, for the most part, a single player narrative where you solve puzzles with the classic portal gun, where you kind of shoot and open a portal on one wall. And if you put a portal on a different wall, if you enter the portal, you come out the other side which is really a cool concept. And Portal 2 did such a great job at constructing a full game and a detailed puzzle game, while also giving an amazing story with amazing voice actors that really drives the game along. And if you're looking for a game that really is a work of art, check out Portal 2 for sure. There is a co-op mode also that's really fun to play and really challenging. But for still on number five, if you're not a fan of puzzle type games, my secondary recommendation is check out Dishonored because it's another great single player game. It's a little more action oriented and there's a decent story there and really good atmosphere in that game too. Both of these games have great atmosphere. So those are either game is a great game to pick up. Number four goes to Borderlands 2. And there's not much to say right now other than if you're looking for a game that you can just pour a bunch of hours into, Borderlands 2 is definitely a great game to pick up. It has a lot of elements of classic first person shooters, but it's more player versus enemy and you can work together with teammates. But there's there's a huge emphasis on looting, which always will make you coming back to find the best weapons and guns and stuff like that while you're playing through it, while also playing through a pretty decent story. There's actually still a pretty active community still playing this game too, so you just kind of have to look for it, but you can actually make some really great friends on there and kind of reminisce on some of the better Xbox 360 days. Number three, Skyrim. I couldn't really make an Xbox 360 list without putting Skyrim just because it was such a huge game during the lifespan of the Xbox 360. I know it's been re-released and it also came out on the PS3 and the PC back in the day, but Skyrim still holds up incredibly well. And even though this is just the classic vanilla version without any enhanced graphics, the game still looks great. Sure, you'll have to deal with some long loading times, but pretty much straightforward, there's not a better RPG game out there unless maybe you want to argue and play some Fallout 3 on the Xbox 360, but Skyrim definitely comes with everything you could want from an RPG game. The atmosphere is great, the story is great, and you can really do whatever you want. If you're not big on RPGs though, but you're still looking for a good single player game, definitely check out Bioshock. It's a little bit more linear. There's still some elements and customization and stuff, but Bioshock also is another great single player game that has amazing atmosphere. So that's our choices for number three. Number two goes to Grand Theft Auto V. And Grand Theft Auto V is still a huge game today. There's a ton of people playing it. But if you remember correctly, Grand Theft Auto V originally released on the Xbox 360 and PS3. So this is the original Grand Theft Auto V and it's actually pretty fun to play. The single player is still on point. The resolution obviously is a little bit lower and you're not gonna have the graphics as good as the next gen, but it's still the same game. You're getting the same single player story and the multiplayer is still active and pretty fun. Unfortunately, the multiplayer doesn't get updates anymore. They stopped updating it after the heists update, which in my opinion was the best update. And if you're still playing GTA 5 nowadays, it's gotten pretty chaotic and a lot of pay to win type gameplay going on. So you might even have a better experience 
on the Xbox 360 version. But the single player is a whole lot of fun and is worth the money on its own. The multiplayer is just kind of an added bonus. So GTA 5 is still great. If you're not really looking into GTA 5 or you might think it's a little bit too raunchy for whoever you're picking up games for. I know a lot of kids are getting Xbox 360s right now because they're so cheap. Uh, check out Red Dead Redemption. It's made by the same people, but it takes place in the Wild West. The sequel for that game is coming out this year, but this game still holds up incredibly well and it's really fun to play. Or if you just want a different atmosphere, Red Dead Redemption is our tied choice for number two. Number one is another tie and we really couldn't find any way around it, but this is definitely the quintessential must have game if you're an Xbox 360 owner or games. You can pick which one, but Halo Reach or Halo 3. Both of these games are absolutely fantastic works of art. If you've never played a Halo game, we recommend you play Halo Reach just because the single player story is kind of self-contained. You don't really need to understand what's going on in the rest of the universe to get what's going on in Halo Reach. Whereas Halo 3, it continues on the events after Halo 2 and Halo 1. Still, both of these games are just fantastic for having a fun multiplayer. And mind you, they're backwards compatible, so there's community still playing these games. More so on Halo Reach, though, because Halo 3 was also in the Master Chief Collection and Reach wasn't. So if you're looking for multiplayer more, Halo Reach is the better option, but Halo 3 definitely has an amazing art direction and atmosphere to it too, and both of these games have a great single player story, they have Forge, custom games, multiplayer, Halo Reach also has Firefight, which is really great, and I guess if I had to pick one, I'd lean on Halo Reach just because there's a little bit more features, but overall, Halo 3 has the more special place in my heart just because that game was such a fantastic game and I've had some really fantastic experiences on Halo 3 but there's still an active community on both of those games so if you're looking for a Halo game this is a great game to pick up it's easy to pick up and play and you can only get better there's a lot of room to grow and get better at these games and it looks like Halo Infinite hopefully is gonna draw some inspiration from maybe Halo 3 and Halo Reach more so so if you're wanting to get ready for whatever's next definitely check out these Halo games. But that's our list. Leave a comment down below with what your favorite Xbox 360 game of all time is if you made it this far into the video. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on if you like my voice, you like what we do here, because the subscription button doesn't do anything. So make sure you have the notifications turned on to always, or else you just will never, never see our content, because YouTube just is YouTube. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video.